Donald said something, well, he said a lot of things that were troubling, but he said something truly horrifying. He became the first person running for president, Republican or Democrat, who refused to say that he would respect the results of this election. Now, that is a direct threat to our democracy. That's horrifying. You know, every time Donald thinks things are not going in his direction, he claims whatever it is is rigged against him. That is not the way our democracy works. Hillary Clinton, once horrified at the prospect of President-elect Donald Trump uh, daring to question the results of the election, now joining Jill Stein in demanding a recount in Wisconsin. And here to weigh in, Democratic Ohio State Senator Capri Safaro and Kristen Tate from the LibertarianChick.com. Thank you both for joining us this Absolutely, morning. Absolutely, thank you. So, no longer a threat to democracy, Kristen? <laughs> <laughs> this is just the height of hypocrisy. I mean, of course, when Trump wants to question the results, if he loses, you know, that would be appalling. But now that Hillary's the one that lost, she's completely changed her tune. But here's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. You know, she would have to win all of these states where they're doing recounts. It would be Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania to win the election. There's no chance of that happening. This is a big pipe dream. There's no evidence that there was election tampering in these states. And what's most funny about this story is that perhaps the most corrupt person to run for president who was under federal investigation for pay-to-play politics and who received debate questions ahead of time from CNN now wants to be in charge of the integrity of the election? I mean, it's hilarious. Yeah, so, Capri, what is going on here? Because uh, Hillary Clinton's campaign itself has come forward and said that they've been looking into it. There's right. no evidence of any hacking or wrongdoing in that regard, but yet they're joining on to this effort. You know, I think that uh, I, I actually kind of agree with what was just said as far as um, it's a it's a pipe dream. I mean, uh, yesterday, actually, my uh, member of Congress, Tim Ryan, uh, who's actually challenging Nancy Pelosi for the leadership job in the House, was on Meet the Press, and he said it's time for us to move on. I, I happen to agree with uh, my Congressman Tim Ryan. It is time for us to move on. Um, you know, we need to work on unifying the country, uh, moving the Democratic Party forward and not harping on something, you know, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. only has 10 electoral votes, just 10. Um, and, and as Kristen just said, I mean, that's not going to be enough um, to, to flip the election. Yeah. I mean, and maybe they're banking on some kind of a crazy, um, faithless elector <laughs> scenario, yeah, but it's not going to work. Uh, 107,000, was that correct, between all three states, the difference of those votes. Uh, but let's talk about the money that's been raised so far. Jill Stein raising over $6 million. When you take a look at the Florida recount, that costs about $2 million million dollars the money that is not used will go towards the green party mm -hmm. so what's <laughs> going on here and who is contributing to that i mean six million dollars so far when she couldn't raise that amount of money in the general election it's hillary people you think it's hillary it's people hillary people for sure i mean hillary people who are again looking for a miracle have invested in jill stein and jill stein's going to pocket that money unfortunately mm -hmm. and, and i think it's going to be a lose-lose situation um, you know, but the, here we are, yeah. uh, 2016. Kristen, you get the final word here. <laughs> yeah, if you actually look at Jill Stein's own website, it says right there in the fine print that all of the money raised mm -hmm. may not even go to this recount effort. The verbiage is very nebulous. So we don't know where this money is going. And to me, this smacks of a financial scam. And remember, <laughs> Jill Stein is not exactly as pure as wind-driven snow. Yeah. This is a woman Aww. who's been arrested multiple times. She was behind bars in 2012. So we don't know where this money is going or what the motive behind this is. Well, we know the deadline to file in Pennsylvania is today. Mm -hmm. uh, Wisconsin slated to have a meeting at 9.30 a.m. this morning, Wisconsin time. So we'll see what happens moving forward. Uh, Kristen and Capri, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you, Heather.